and the Singapore Grand Prix is go. Good launch off the line by the P3 man. Charles Leclerc is trying to take second place. Carlos Sainz holds the lead. Charles Leclerc does take second place. It's a Ferrari 1-2 out front. Fernando point eight behind, point eight with DRS. Russo no DRS. Yeah, it's on purpose. Copy that. Carlos Sainz, the winner of the Singapore Grand Prix. You know what? This is my first smooth operation in Ferrari. And it's lights out and away we go. Max Verstappen gets away well from Charles Leclerc and already George Russell is alongside Carlos Sainz. Into turn one we go. It's Verstappen from Leclerc. And look how easy it is for Charles Leclerc to get up to the back of that Red Bull. But Verstappen is forcing him the long way round at turn three. So Leclerc goes for the old switcheroo, forces Verstappen to go a bit wide on the exit and then he is through on the inside. Charles Leclerc has sailed through it all. He takes victory. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Yes, come on. It's lights out, away we go. It wasn't a hold for very long at the start. Leclerc gets away well, ahead of Hamilton and Vettel. Well, Vettel's going to get ahead of Leclerc here, and he is. I thought he would. I don't think Vettel's pit stop was that slow. He's undercut him. It's his cost track position for Leclerc, but not for Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel takes the checkered flag and wins the Singapore Grand Prix. Yes, Sebastian. 3-1. Right, so one and two for Ferrari. And it's lights out and away we go. It was a super start from Nico Rosberg. And it's Nico Rosberg and Hamilton's onto the grass. And Hamilton's had a massive crash and he's crashed into his teammate. All he's got to do is be down the back straight now with DRS for the Ferrari, the rear wing open, and he clears that, he's home and dry. At 18 years and 227 days old, Max Verstappen wins the Spanish Grand Prix. Yes, yes! Three cars going wheel to wheel, there's a spin right at the back, could be Kimi Raikkonen in the Alfa Romeo. Look up there, as Perez is caught by Charles Leclerc, and there's three cars gone off. Sergio Perez all the way down in 18th place. Here comes Sergio Perez on Esteban Ocon. He's got DRS to help him breeze past Esteban Ocon here. The man who was in last place at the end of lap one comes home to win the Sakir Grand Prix. Oh, I miss pitch this, guys. Good start from Vettel, good start from Raikkonen. Vettel does cut across to block out his teammate. Bottas ahead of Hamilton. Ricardo on the inside is cut out by Verstappen and Hulkenberg is trying to get past Ricardo round the outside at turn one. He's going, he's going, he's going, and Sebastian Vettel is gone. Daniel Ricciardo is up into second place. Bottas covers Go. it off, but he can't cover it off totally. Ricciardo somehow finds a gap there, and Valtteri Bottas gave him enough respect and enough room, and he squeezed through Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo wins the Chinese Grand Prix. <laughs> yes, boys. That is Holy shit. And at least with a safety car situation. And of course, the race starts now. There is no formation lap. I personally think the race should have started properly, but that's my view and I'm not sitting out there. Will Lewis Hamilton get another drive-through penalty? What do you think? Well, I think in that case, there's no question as you see him. Oh, nice. McLaren's touch! Button has gone for intermediates. I think McLaren feel that he's already so far down the field, they might as well try something different. Jensen Button driving for his life, driving for the victory. Has Vettel got what it takes to hold him off? I think Vettel's got wide. Yeah, he's got wide. He turned in too late. He got the tyres. Button leads the Grand Prix. Jensen Button, he wins a brilliant race. What a victory. Brilliant, Jensen. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> In a few seconds, the Brazilian Grand Prix will be underway. The safety car comes in, the crowd are cheering. Here he goes! Not Here smart. he goes! Not a smart thing to do at all, Rubens. That's bunching the pack too much. He should have just taken a sensible run. Here we go, Luke Fesicano takes the lead! What a move! Race, race stopped. Red flag, race has stopped. And that's a Jordan on fire in the pit lane. It's Fesicano! Of course, the race-winning car in Park Ferme has caught fire. His first win in Formula One. He can't believe it, can he? Look at that. And for Formula One in Miami, it's race on! And we've got a good getaway for Perez. Max Verstappen down a place to 10th place on that hard compound of tyre. Didn't get the launch that he wanted.
Now we've got DRS enabled. Say goodbye to the Red Bull. That is absolutely outrageous. Cam Perez off for a defensive line to the inside. He's got no other choice. The ball's wheel to wheel. And around the outside, will it be the lead? It's close between the two of them. The crowd are roaring. Max Verstappen wins the Miami Grand Prix with a masterclass of performance. Ninth on the grid to the top step of the podium. And we're underway for the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. Great getaway for Lewis Hamilton. And up to second place goes Carlos Sainz. Sainz upgrading third position on the grid to second place in the race. This is Pierre Gasly in the middle of the pack. They're currently in 10th place, getting squeezed. Off the road there, Alex Albon at the first chicane. And Magnussen is going to have to pull up. Kevin Magnussen has to pull off before he even gets to the pit lane to bring out the yellow flag. It says pit entry closed. Pit entry is closed, but in comes Hamilton. Race control, it's a 10 second stop go penalty for Lewis Hamilton for entering the pit lane. Lewis Hamilton in from the lead of the race to take a 10 second stop go penalty. And Pierre Gasly leads at Monza ahead of the two Alfa Romeos. What a Grand Prix we've got here. Gasly is the 109th man to win a Grand Prix. Oh my God. What did you do? What did you do? It's lights out and away we go. It's a decent start from Sebastian Vettel. Lewis Hamilton covers past the Maldonado. Already Kimi Raikkonen alongside Maldonado, almost touching wheels. He's ahead of Roman Grosjean, tries down the inside of Maldonado. Into turn two, first two there without any problems. Maldonado gets squeezed out by Kimi Raikkonen, but it's the perfect start for Sebastian Vettel and for Lewis Hamilton. Incredible battle here, Schumacher and Alonso, and then Senna, and then Weber, and then Raikkonen, and quite how anyone hasn't touched in the last lap and a half, I don't know. Alonso goes through on Michael Schumacher. And look at that, Vettel's going slowly. And that, Vettel's got a major problem, Fernando Alonso leads. They are going absolutely wild in the stands here. Alonso for his 19th victory in Formula One in front of his adoring Spanish fans can now see the chequered flag and comes home to win the Grand Prix of Europe. And it's a good start by Patrese. And up alongside him comes Cathy. There to the centre, he's going through on the inside. It looks to me as though he's going to take the lead, but no. Patrese holds it. Senna is in second. And so going through and taking third. From Alain Post. Look at it now. Manson is closer now than he's ever been at this point. This is the Ferrari's opportunity. And Manson goes through. Oh, fantastic. Yes, over the line goes Nigel Manson for his second Ferrari victory of 1989. And away they go. And it's a beautiful start by Ricardo Patrese. Patrese leads away into the first corner, the right-hander which leads into the seat, and then behind him, it's Berger, Senna in third position. Prost is going to be very keen, Prost diving inside, Senna I'm sure is in tower trouble, and Alain Prost goes through. Alain Prost, the world champion, winning in Mexico. Alain Prost wins for Ferrari. That's it, Schumacher's away well, Damon Hill is closing up, Alessi and Berger two Benettons now, what's happening further forward at saint Devot? it's the Williams leading, Damon Hill has got ahead of Michael Schumacher and smoke out of the back of the Williams this yes. is going to be the first time that the Williams has failed, Hill's failed to finish this year, Damon Hill out of the Monaco Grand Prix oh, and it's, it's that's Irvine and Salo and Takina and Olivier for Ligier, Mugen, Honda, a wonderful fillet for the French team and their Japanese engine supplier. Exits the Rascas to win the 1996 Monaco Grand Prix, an incredible result. And Michael Schumacher, you can just see him on the right-hand side of your screen, eight rows back. Hakkinen tries to get past Berger, who blocks him, but Elise takes the lead and Johnny Herbert moves ahead of Gerhard Berger. Schumacher goes through and takes that fourth position. Now, this is the chance for Damon Hill. This is where I said, but Schumacher's going to try and cut him off. Hill is alongside him and goes through. No! Schumacher's still marginally ahead, pushes Damon Hill sideways, retaining his line. Out of the bus stop for the 44th and last time, a magnificent 
16th career victory for Michael Schumacher, who starts 16th on the grid and superbly wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Cracking start by Coulthard. Look at him coming through the middle. He's already in front of Sato. Fisichella is in front of Button. That's terrible news for Jensen Button. And Coulthard is having a go as well. Christian Kleen is also in the mix. Is this Raikkonen? Raikkonen getting past Michael Schumacher. Alonso is just behind them. He'll have to go tighter than that. Oh, and they nearly touch. Can Raikkonen sweep in? Yes, yes! he can. Brilliant. What a brilliant move. Side by side down the straight. Grand Prix racing at its absolute finest. Kimi Raikkonen, the winner. Absolutely sensational performance. And Coulthard gets away. Schumacher tucked up behind him. And Hagenen goes round and straight into the barrier. Goes to Benetton and there's a Ferrari down there as well. Barrichello now, look at him attacking, attacking the Jaguar in front of him. Now the Brazilian, no, and he's going through on the inside. He forces a brilliant move there. He can almost feel a wonderful victory as he comes down to the last to two right-handers. You are watching a sensational drive being completed with Rubens Barrichello from Sao Paulo, Brazil, winning for Ferrari, and he's done it! <laughs> from 18th on the grid through one of the weirdest Grand Prix you'll ever see. Where you may ask are Lauda and Watson. Watson is 22nd, Lauda is 23rd. There is the green light, the Ferraris get away and watch Rosberg coming through. Rosberg hits Arnu and Rosberg takes the lead. A fantastic start by Keki Rosberg from the second row of the grid. He clipped Arnu's Ferrari. And Watson's going through, locking up a front wheel, that shows how hard he's trying. But Watson with one of his classic overtaking manoeuvres. John Watson goes past Nicky Lauda. Watson looking at the outside, Watson comes through. And once again, he locks up his front left-hand wheel, but the feet lets him go. John Watson has come through incredibly. The chequered flag waves and John Watson, the Irishman from Bogner Regis in Sussex, win the 1983 Long Beach Grand Prix. An incredible drive from 22nd place on the grid up to lead by lap 45 and then to reel off the last 30 laps with an ever-increasing lead.